Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to have some fun with this. A highlighter? Oh, are we going to highlight Bible verses? Well, not exactly. What we're going to do today... My brother loves to highlight verses. <laughs> That's nice. But what we're going to do today is... Yeah, I'm the fastest highlighter in the West. That's really good. But wait, the fastest highlighter in the West? What are you talking about? See? You highlighted the entire page. What can I say? I love it all. Ow, brother. Hey kids, Pastor Robbie here, along with today's special co-hosts, Reed and Caden. Hello. And today, we're gonna have some fun learning about Light. Light? I thought we were going to use a highlighter. We are, as we learn about light. What are you talking about? Well, let's take a look at today's verse. It comes from Luke 11.34, where it says, Your eye is the lamp of your body. When your eyes are healthy, your whole body is also full of light. But when they are unhealthy, your body also is full of darkness. So our eyes are like lamps? Sounds kind of confusing. Well, Jesus was using our eyes and a lamp as a figure of speech. What he was telling us was that it's important to pay attention to what we take into our minds. Sometimes darkness masquerades itself like it's something good. But once it gets inside of us, we're full of darkness. Jesus wants us to take in truth that comes from him so we can be filled with light and attract others to him. Interesting. So how does that work? Well, let me demonstrate it for you with a couple simple object lessons I like to call beginning to see the light. And all we're gonna need is a few jars with lids, some water, some tonic water, some salt, a needle nose pliers, a few highlighters, and a black light. Let's pretend that this first jar is Reed and the second jar is Caden. And Reed starts filling his life with what he thinks is pretty sweet, cola. It looks so refreshing and tastes so good, but the truth is, it's not really very healthy for you. And when it comes to letting his light shine in a dark world, watch what happens when we set him in front of this black light and turn off the regular lights. Oh man, I'm all dark. Just like the verse said, when you let darkness in, it can take over. It's not very attractive. You're right. But let's pretend that this other jar is Caden and he takes in healthy things like this tonic water. And now let's turn off the lights and turn on the black light and see what happens. Whoa, I'm all lit up. Cool, how does that work? Tonic water contains quinine. Quinine absorbs ultraviolet light, but not visible light. So it normally appears clear and colorless, but when exposed to the UV light, the molecule excites and it glows. Just like we glow when we have Jesus in our life? Exactly. It's really important that we take in the good stuff. It frees our hearts and our minds from being cluttered and confused. And we are marked with goodness and hope. So what is this good stuff you're talking about? Well, I'm talking about feeding our minds with truth found in the Bible and living all out for Jesus. If we aren't careful, we can be tricked by the enemy and all of a sudden, we lose our light. For example, let's pretend that Caden starts to believe a few lies of the enemy. What do you mean? Well, let's pretend that this salt represents lies. It looks good and even harmless, but watch what happens. Hmm, that TV show doesn't look that bad. Hmm, it's okay if I stretch the truth a little bit. Hmm, it's okay if I laugh when my friend makes fun of someone else. At least I'm not the one doing the talking. Hey, I'm filling up with salt. Yeah, now let's see how effective your light is. Oh man, I'm not nearly as bright. 
No, and that's why we need to be on guard on what we allow into our minds and our bodies. So what about the highlighters? Well, I brought these to show what life is like when you live all out for Jesus. Let's take these four jars and fill them with water. Now let's take these four highlighters, yellow, green, pink, and orange, and we'll use our pliers to pull the ends off and take the middle out of each one. And we'll squeeze the liquid into each jar. Now let's turn on the black light and turn off the regular lights and see what happens. Awesome! Amazing! No wonder Jesus wants us to take in good things. It's way more attractive than darkness. Learning to fill our lives with the light of Jesus is a beautiful thing. So guys, what did we learn today? I learned that our eyes are like a lamp to the body. If we take in things that are dark or tricky, our bodies get filled with darkness and that's not good. Exactly. But if we fill our lives with the truth and good things found in God's Word, our lives will shine brightly and even colorfully for the Lord. And that's way more attractive to others. Very good. Now, we thought it'd be fun to do a little light experiment of our own. So we took this bottle of tonic water and decided to make a light fountain. A light fountain? Yeah, by simply dropping this little minto inside. See? Lights, please. See? Wasn't that cool? Uh, yeah. Real cool. We'll see you around. <laughs> hey, today's episode is sponsored by Monogram Metal Shop, an Amish family-run business based in Grable, Indiana, where they craft and personalize quality custom metal signs and decor just for you, just like they did for us with this brand new Family Moment sign. Offering a wide variety of designs, colors, and sizes, you'll get new world precision with old world craftsmanship. What a great, unique wedding gift idea. And if you want an American-made quality metal sign that's suitable for indoor or outdoor use, Monogram Metal Shop is where we recommend. We even got ours with lights. To find out more, go to monogrammetalshop.com or check out the description below. And if you'd like to inquire about sponsoring an episode or a series of Family Moment episodes, just drop us an email at contact at familymomentsfun.com. We'd love to talk to you about partnering with us. <laughs>